And he's also pushing the idea that the only, uh, maybe it's an indirect implication, but the way to keep AI safe, like the solution to AI safety is open source, which is another controversial idea. It's like really kind of, yeah, really saying open source is not just good, it's good on every front and it's the only way forward. I kind of agree with that because if something is dangerous, if you are actually claiming something is dangerous, wouldn't you want more eyeballs on it versus fewer? I mean, there's a lot of arguments both directions because people who are afraid of AGI, they're worried about it being a fundamentally different kind of technology because of how rapidly it could become good. Mm -hmm. And so the eyeballs, if you have a lot of eyeballs on it, some of those eyeballs will belong to people who are malevolent and can quickly do harm or or try to harness that power to uh, to, to abuse others mm -hmm. like on a mass scale. So, but you know, history is laden with people worrying about this new technology is fundamentally different than every other technology that ever came before it. Right. So uh, I tend to, trust the intuitions of engineers who are building, who are closest to the metal, right. who are building the systems. Right. But all, also those engineers can often be blind to the big picture impact of right. of a technology. So you gotta, you gotta listen to both. Yeah. But open source, at least at this time, seems, uh, while it has risks, seems like the best way forward because it maximizes transparency and gets the most minds, like you said. I mean, you evolved. can identify more ways the systems can be misused faster mm -hmm. and build the right guardrails against it too. Because that is a super exciting technical problem. And all the nerds would love to kind of explore that problem of finding the ways this thing goes wrong and how to defend against it. Mm -hmm. Not everybody is excited about improving capability of the system. Yeah. There's a lot of people that are like, they- po Poking at the yeah. models, seeing what they can do and how it can be misused, how it can be like uh, prompted in ways where despite the guardrails, you can jailbreak it. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have discovered all this if some of the models were not open source. And also like how to build the right guardrails. Might, there, there are academics that might come up with breakthroughs because they have access to weights. And like that can benefit all the frontier models too.